What's happening, Cog Squad? We are about to get started on this coop. Previously on the Cog Vlog. JP, how do you say it? Is it Moran or Moran or Marin or Maha? It's Polish. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all may think I'm kidding, but she would literally stay on that tractor all day long. All day. Y'all look coming down the road. That's in about half the cog squad right there. Cat, duck, geese, peacock, and of course, the pig. Feeding time. Hey ladies, we are working on y'all's new coop. Oh, the little chicks are doing okay. That one's actually trying to dust bait. JP and company. JP, <laughs> you just need a little bit of tension, don't you, girl? You know, you ever notice we're doing stuff like we're feeding this morning, or we're building something, or we're doing something, and right when we get finished, she shows up. I mean, every time, right when we get finished, she shows up. She have any chicks? Um. How many chicks is it? Look at the little breeze. There's another little breeze. And there's a third little breeze right here. Oh, this is going to be a boofy one. Yeah, they're not full blooded out there. Yeah. This is going to be a crested one because of rod. And this is Popcorn's little blue egger. Rod, you a proud daddy? I think this huh? one's yeah, look at this one. It's creepy cheeks. Yeah. I'm going to show mom. Okay. So, in our last video, we just cleared out the raised bed garden because we're not using it anymore and getting it ready for the new Cog Squad Cog Hill Ultimate Chicken Coop. And this is, this is going to be the area. Now, we're just trying to figure out what we really want to do here. Uh, we've been looking online at different coops, trying to get an idea. What we're going to do on this one that we did differently on the other one is the other coop we had was a small coop area and a big run. Well, we really don't need a run because we free range our egg layers. So we really don't need a run. All we really need is a nice coop for them to lay eggs in and for them to sleep at night. So that's what we're gonna build. Now we are gonna build a little separate area that will have a run on it for Mary Carl's Bantam chickens, the little bitty chickens like JP, like Sugar and Tony, the little bitty chickens. We're gonna build a separate area for them and it's gonna have a run on it because we're not gonna free range those guys. It's roughly 34 foot, which is bigger than what I thought which is great. Two to three square foot is the recommendation for chickens in a coop, not a run. Run's much different. Run is like eight, nine, 10 square foot. A coop for them to sleep in is two to three. Hey, Dad. You look like you're holding a little baby. Come on, run around. Go over there and call her. JP! <laughs> JP's like, oh no, man, we I in heaven. She was chasing her around that coop over there. <laughs> Look at here, JP, what you think? I mean, if we really wanted to, we could build it on this side. This is a higher side, it never gets wet here, and it's pretty much square over here than it is back there. But then, like, the rest of it could be like my little Bantams area. 
but this is like, where, oh. where would my chicken be oh, over there? He's great. <laughs> Mama! Where are you? So that looks like the best plan of action. We originally thought we wanted to put it on this side, but now we're thinking our probably our best bet is to put it on this side. Mama, I got a JP grasshopper and she ate it. Your peach. You wanna go with us to the hardware store? Come on. She gonna ride with us. Whoa. She about tripped me up. Let's go get the stuff. Right now, we're just gonna do the base. I will. Our, our plan right now is we're just gonna do it in in sections, right? So so we don't get overwhelmed. We figured out the size we want, and we're just gonna get the stuff to try to get the base done today. If it don't rain us out, could rain us out. It's a fifty percent chance of rain today, but at least we'll get get our material and get something going for the new chicken coop. But it's gonna be nice, I think it's gonna be nice. If we can get Mary Carl to stop buying chickens. <laughs> well, we, just had a, we just had a talk with her and told her that the chicken coop is gonna be big enough for what we have. We can't, we can't add any more to it. I saw a little pouty face. She did have a little pouty face, but she, I, she did understand when I told her though. Well, she did. She I, did until we go to Tractor Spa or wherever they have chicks next time, and then she'll say, "Well, but Mama, we don't have this breed. Don't have this breed. But Mama, please, can we just get four? Sure is looking like rain. It does look like rain. If it does, it does. We can't control it. One thing that we decided to do that we were kind of you know wishy-washy about was. Did we want a floor in the coop? Because this is not a run. This is just a coop. Did we want a floor in the coop or did we not want a floor in the coop? And our other coop didn't have a floor in it. You got it. And it would get wet, especially if it rained real hard. So we've decided to go ahead and put a floor in this one. Now I know that it had to be cleaned out more often, but this should be better. They'll be off the ground. Uh, you know, we don't have to worry about a predator digging under. So we're going with a floor in the coop. And another reason that we're going to do this in stages is because of time. We'll get this done today. And we just got other things we got to do too. Like we need to get the garden ready for the fall garden. So we'll try to do that this week as well. Look at our look. So the subfloor or the flooring part, they didn't have enough of for us. We need eight sheets of something. We're gonna have to regroup on that, but we'll go ahead and get the material to frame it out. You know how to back a truck up? I do. <laughs> this one looks good. Yeah, sure. Grab those first, because I wanted the long one first. Got all our materials, but now it looks like it's fixing to rain. That little blue dot's us, and you can see the. <laughs> you put it play. You can see it coming. Maybe it won't, but. Not looking good. Not looking good. I saw you coming. Our huge market hall. You never know. You never know. Peach has got another watermelon. Peaches will be happy. Chickens will be happy. Geese, Geese will, will be, be happy. happy. They saw you pull up. They know. They know. Listen. <laughs> they know the produce is here. How about a peach? You want a peach? What you quitting for? She's worried about those geese. All right, let's get started on this sucker. At least we can get the floor laid out, see exactly where this thing is gonna end up, and kind of give us all an idea, you know, sort of kind of what it's gonna look like. Let me show y'all something. We, um, we really wanna keep this vine 
It could be way better than what it is. Not that it's dying or anything, but it produces musky dimes, which is a southern grape. It's native to our area. It's, um, we really can't grow like Concord grapes or your typical grapes here for the most part. But this, this grows well here. And it tastes different than a typical grape. I can't explain it, um, but they are delicious. And they come in really two colors, this gold color and purple. Really, really sweet. I can eat them and hurt, make my belly hurt. I mean, you can look, I mean, this thing, I don't do anything to it. Uh, I will cut it at the bottom, right down through here, give it a haircut, which won't affect the fruit producing part of it. I'm no expert on how to grow these things. I don't do anything to this thing. It grows well here. I don't want to mess this thing up. We love it. Really good. All right, we got the floor pretty much framed out. Now we're gonna put the braces in. I got my backup in up here. All is good. All right, so we got it all laid out. We're out of materials. This is enough for what we bought just for today because I actually thought it was gonna rain and it, it hadn't. I mean, y'all saw the radar and we haven't got a drop. But we got pretty much 90% of the base done. We got to come back and put some bracing going this way. And then we're going to put the flooring down, which we're going to put three quarter inch tree to plywood down for the floor. Have any of you guys, do y'all, is y'all's coop a solid floor? Let me know the pros and cons down below in the comments of having a solid floor coop because I would love to know. These first two sections will be the big chicken coop. This section here will be the Bantam Coop. Let's go eat some dinner. I think as a matter of fact, we're having breakfast for dinner. Did any of y'all do that? We love having breakfast for dinner. Is that right, Tucker? Mort's gonna get on to you for being on that tractor now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you. He ain't gonna like that one bit, girl. Hey, if you want some good, wholesome family fun and want to know what it's like living on a family farm, give us a follow. Hit that subscribe button right down below. Be sure to hit the bell notification. That way you'll be alerted when we post a new video, which is typically every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. As always, y'all be good.